Good morning and welcome to Coffee with God this Wednesday, the 5th of October. Trust that you got a decent cup of coffee. And if you've got your Bibles, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. Toe ek in TS5 vers 17, een oud bekende, ons het het al een paar keer gelees in die paar jaar wat ons koffie wordt gehad, maar is een van die skrifgedeeltes wat ons nie genoeg van mekaar kan herinner aan die wonenwerk van wat Christus gedoen het namens ons op die kruis. Luister net gauw weer. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature, the old things passed away, behold, New things have come. You know, someone said, I think it was an evangelist by the name of Billy Sunday, I think he said, God doesn't buy us on higher purchase. When he buys us, he buys us outright. It's not an installment deal. Um, it's a it's a complete change. And that's why this verse again just says to us, if anyone is in Christ. Now, come on. If you declare yourself a Christian, as you yourself Christian verklaar, dan is jy vernieuwe. Jy is geseel met die heilige geest van God, wat op, op redding, op were geboorte, jou seel in jou christenskap. And if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. And we need to know that. We need to hear that and we need to accept that. Because the devil comes and he, he will tempt us and test us in the old ways. He doesn't change. He still has the same tactic. He still thinks we're the same person with the same mindset, with the, the same. And, and yet we're now sealed. We're empowered. We're renewed. We're given new life by the Holy Spirit of God in us. And hear that and accept that this morning. Don't accept. Don't. I want to almost, if, if you, um, if you go to a new country or if you start a new job, um, you, you've, you kind of, you've got the, the, the process and the thought pattern and the, the makeup and the habits of the old country or the old job, but it's a new environment. It's a new boss. It's a new country. It's a new culture. It's a new way of living. It's a new everything. And you have to realize that this world, this environment, Yesterday morning, I was still at the old company. This morning, I'm in a new company. Yesterday, I was in uh, the old country. Today, I'm in the new country. We may not feel changed. We may still wake up the same person that we woke up yesterday. But our whole world, our whole environment, our whole working atmosphere has changed overnight. And that, in a sense, is what happens to us spiritually. The old things have passed away. In the spiritual realm, we're a new creature. We're born again. And and you know what? We face the day with a new mindset, with new opportunities, with new potential, because the Holy Spirit is now with us. Yesterday, He wasn't. It's a new environment. It's a new world. It's a new day. And we need to realize that. Let your mind go and let your imagination run. May the Holy Spirit prompt you into how you should actually see things that the sins of yesterday no longer hold sway in this new world unless you bring them in to this new world. But the Lord has broken that through the power of Jesus Christ and his bloodshed. You bring them back because you're still bringing in that higher purchase mentality where God is saying it's a done deal. You're not, you're not still belonging to that person while I'm paying you off. I've bought you outright. You're not a higher purchase um, transaction. You're a cash paid in full, bought, new, ownership deal. And uh, think about that. Think about the implications, how it should change our thinking and our approach to every day. Well, why don't you come and have a cup of coffee with me and let's chat about it. I've got lots of thoughts about it and it's quite exciting to just think about the new beginnings. The old things have passed away. All things. Behold, new things have come. What new things can you look forward to in the Lord Jesus Christ today? Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. May the Lord bless you.